What's going on guys? Welcome to Gregos TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Guys, we dropped some bombs yesterday. Big time bombs on news on the Galaxy S8. Gave out the specs for the Galaxy S8 Plus and also some photos side by side of the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Those were yesterday's videos. Two videos yesterday, guys. If you missed those, I'll link them in the description down below. Make sure you check those out. Today, we got some big bombshells as well. Let's start off with the release date for the LG G6 and the new Galaxy S8 S8 Plus. Let's start off with the LG G6. LG G6 will be announced at Mobile World Congress. You'll be able to see it, play with it. If you're there, we should see some videos of it as well. Well, the pre-order starts on March 2nd, all the way through March 9th, and then will be officially released. You can buy it, pick it up the store everywhere on March 10th. I know some of you are very interested in that phone. The Galaxy S8 S8 Plus pre-order should start around April 13th, and you'll have it in your hand April 21st. This news is coming directly from Android Plus, who have a guy in the know who works for a big mobile carrier, and that's what they're telling them. April 21st for the Galaxy S8 S8 Plus. You'll have that in your hand. You should definitely pre-order this thing. It might sell out, obviously. It's getting a lot of hype. So I would definitely keep that in mind. April 21st, in your hand, do it. The last story of the day, guys, this is pretty big as well. So yesterday we talked about, there was a big leak yesterday for official specs of the Galaxy S8 Plus. Well, the official specs for the Galaxy S8 were released today and gotten uh, received by Techno Buffalo. So technobuffalo.com if you don't know them. Let's check out the specs for the Galaxy S8. Now the specs are almost identical to the Galaxy S8 Plus, and the big difference is just the screen size. Everything else is the same. You get 4G LTE, it's a 5.8 inch screen, but then around the rounded corners, it makes it 5.6 inch. It is a Quad HD Plus Super AMOLED display, same as the S8 Plus. 12 megapixel dual pixel main camera, eight megapixel front facing camera. It also has IP68 dust and water resistance, iris scanner so you can unlock it just like you did with the Note 7. It's secured by Samsung Knox, 64 gigabytes of internal storage with support for external micro SD card support. I'm very disappointed in this. I think that's not enough storage. It should at least be 120 yet. I don't have to mess around with putting an SD card in there and wondering if I have one and buying one, all that crap. Should at least be 120 yet, especially for such a premium device. Four gigabytes of RAM, not enough. On a Samsung device, this should at least have six gigabytes. It's a premium device. The OnePlus 3 is half the price of this and has six gigabytes of RAM. Samsung, you should have put six gigabytes in this. Samsung Pay, wireless charging, Android operating system, it's gonna have Android Nougat, and then earphones tuned by AKG. Another thing to keep in mind, the S8 and S8 Plus will have a Snapdragon 835, or internationally, uh, you'll have a Exynos 8895. So they should be very similar in performance, but last year, the people who had the Exynos had better performance in day-to-day -day usage versus what we got with the Snapdragon. So hopefully, it's more even this time. I believe that the, the Snapdragon had better gaming performance. So again, hopefully they're both equal because my uh, S7, S7 Edge, and uh, Note 7 slowed down at times, which was a big disappointment in that. But anyways, guys, those are release dates and the specs for that device. If you're interested in it, you only have to wait another month, month and a half, guys, and that thing will be in your hand and you'll be playing with that thing like it's crazy. So make sure you keep up with the channel because I'm releasing news every single day, especially when it comes out. I release it usually first on YouTube. At least I try to be first. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I do a new video every single day. Another reason to just subscribe is a 20,000 subscriber giveaway. It'll be March 15th. If we can hit 20,000 before that, definitely doing a huge, huge giveaway, guys. So make sure you subscribe. My question of the day is, are you gonna pre-order the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus or not? Do you think it's not important? Are you just gonna go to the store and grab one? Let me know in the comments down below. My product of the day, I reviewed this thing this morning. It's a really cool little flashlight. It's a rechargeable battery up to 180 hours on the lowest light setting. You can use it as a flashlight or if you double tap, you can use it as a lamp and it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. It's actually really cool. I will definitely be using this a lot, especially you know if the, the power goes out or I just need to find something because it's dark, whatever it may be. I will link this in the description down below. Very cool little flashlight. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you down the road.
Peace.